In my 30 years of traveling to Britain, I knew all about pickle. Cheese and pickle sandwiches is pretty much my favorite sandwich to eat when I'm in England. But when I actually lived in Britain, I learned that it is, there are more wonderful British condiments besides the Branston pickle. So let's take a look at what pickle or pickles are in the US in a grocery store versus those similar condiments in the British supermarket. Since we don't have Branston pickle in the US, if you say to an American, would you like a cheese and pickle sandwich? They're going to think it's a sandwich with pickles on it, like bread and butter chips. Yes, we call them chips. They're sliced pickles. Because we don't really talk about pickle in that singular form to mean the condiment like Branston pickle. Pickles to us are pickled cucumbers and these tiny little ones are called gherkins. But we don't call the other stuff gherkins. Those are other types of pickles like kosher dill spears or bread and butter chips or sandwich slim cut pickles. Look at those. Whole pickles that are sliced lengthwise. And then we have pickle relish. That's the kind of stuff you mix into mayonnaise to make tartar sauce. And we have pickled peppers, but we don't really pickle eggs or onions all the time the way that Brits do. This is the one pickled onion I saw cocktail onions for making martinis and whatnot over here next to the olives. Now let's go see what this same section of the store looks like at my Tesco Superstore in Cheltenham. There are so many different things about pickles in a British supermarket. So we have these sweet sour cucumbers. <laughs> This is something I haven't seen in the U.S. Gin pickled gherkins. And then we have just gherkins. Sliced gherkins. I don't even know if those are sweet or dill. Someone needs to tell me. And these crinkle cut gherkins. Again, I don't know if those are sweet or not. And these, oh. Those are spicy because it says hot red chili. Now we get to all kinds of other pickled things. Lots of beetroot, both regular sliced and crinkle sliced. Oh, and whole baby beetroot. Shredded beetroot. <laughs> I've never seen these things in the US. Um, and then of course the Tesco brand of all the same thing. Oh my goodness, and another brand down here. So much beetroot. Then you think that's a lot. Where do you see the onions? Yeah, I don't, I'm not really into this whole pickled onion thing, but boy, a lot of people must be here because there are so many pickled onions. So many brands. So many styles. And then pickled cabbage. Mixed pickle, which has, I don't know, which has like onions and cauliflower and cucumbers in it, I think. And then this pickled cauliflower. Never seen that before. It reminds me of pickle lily. Let's see if we can go find that. Here in the chutney pickle section, we have pickle lily, which is something I had never heard of or eaten until last year when subscribers told me I had to try it, and I love it. 
It's funny though, I gave some to my son Trent when he was here last week. And he's like, what is this? Is that bits of cauliflower on it? He thought it was so strange. So here we've got sandwich pickle, the Tesco brand, and then Branston. So if you're British or a non-British fan of Branston, tell me what your favorite is. I do like the small chunk for making my cheese and pickle sandwiches. But are you a, are you a purist that insists on the Branston original? Let me know. Ooh, that sounds good. Plowman's plum chutney for having Plowman's lunches. And I just super love all these different kinds of chutney that are great for Plowman's lunches or cheese boards. Two things that I'm a big fan of. I mean, fig and balsamic chutney, spiced apple and pear chutney, these things sound delicious. Let me know in the comments what surprised you about this shopping comparison versus where you normally shop. And check out this other shopping video I have here. Thank you so much for watching and do something good in the world today.